on our right, uh, we have the basically the same Naya deck you just saw. Yeah. Uh, just a Naya aggressive, an aggressive mid rangey cards. Uh, he has he has Restoration Angel. He has uh, Loxus, right? He has Boris Resurgence, Boris Rector, Boris Rampanger. His big card, he has four Thunder Mahal cards. So here we see a mulch from Jason Brinkman. Looks like we caught them very early in game three, which is... Uh, Fantastic for yeah, us. Yeah, which is excellent for us. So mulch, uh, Jason's deck looks uh, very shiny. Yes, it does. Uh, foil for an uh, Acidic Slime. to been where two, uh, two foil... Uh, Shock lands, what's in the hand? Uh, he likes his foils, or at least somebody does that he borrowed the deck from. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so uh, looks like a foil abrupt decay is going to kill uh, Boris Reckoner. And, and Boris gets in. Yeah, so very good opening from Jason, for sure. Like Jason um, on the play, so it, it, what it seems like Jason yes. obviously won game one. Brian Edgar probably just was all out aggro and won game two very quickly. And then Jason now on the play and in game Cabin of Souls uh, enables Board Grand Rampager, which is actually a pretty good threat against the Junk Reanimator deck. Until uh, until Thrag Tusk comes to play, at least. And uh, there are Thrag Tusks. Only three main. Uh, fourth in the board, though. I would imagine it's, it's in the all deck four. here. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but it, it's a... Rampage is quite good against Boris Resurgence. Dragon was uh, the creature type named off of Cavern of Souls, uh, by the way. Perhaps uh, the imminent arrival of Thundermall Hellkite. Could, could, could be, could Signal. be. Signaling. Wow. Okay, so very strange attack from Jason Brinkman. My, a shock land? Untapped. So Restoration Angel okay. is going to save the Arboral. So Jason just using his Restoration Angel to sneak in damage. Right. See if he could if he could get something in. Yeah. Here. So uh, Restoration Angel joins the the team on Jason's side of the board. Meanwhile, speaking of Restoration Angel, voice gets in for two. Uh, uh, Brian Edgar drew a card. Yeah, with and the it was Restoration, Restoration Angel. Angel. That, with, is the creature type on that dragon? Just, it is. Uh, it is? That's okay. I just wasn't sure. Fortunately, there, or unfortunately, there are no counter spells in this matchup. Uh, hey, look, Thundermall Hellkite. I think that's a creature. That's a dragon. Creature, it's a creature dragon. Okay. So, uh, Jason Brinkman down to nine, or taking nine damage, going down to seven life, facing that's... Cedric Phillips. Yeah. Patron Saint, Thunderball Hellkite. <laughs> so you see Thunderball Hellkite, 5-5 five, five for 5, flying haste. And of course, uh, when it enters the battlefield, it taps down the flyers, dealing one to them. You know what, that, that's like one of the reasons I wasn't big on uh, Jason's attack. It put his Restoration Angel into play mm -hmm. to get tapped, where he could he could have wanted it for uh, blocking purposes. Right, pa after the trigger of the Thunderball Hellkite. Yes. Then you, uh, you ambush. Well, it's not much of an ambush if you're just jumping in front of it and dying, but. Uh, well, you could, you know, you could use it to block the Gorkhan Rampager. Sure, sure, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm chasing him. Big trouble here. Trying to figure out how he wants to do this. I mean, he's got six power worth of guys. Ryan at 11 with a lot of, a lot of power on his side, and. Yeah, Jason leaves up everybody to block. Ryan looking like he can take this match. I, I feel like Jason has another Restoration Angel. Uh, that's his, his like mannerisms. Yeah. Uh, with the attacking of Arbor Elf. Kind of uh, tip that off a little bit. Right. But see what, uh, Brian has a Restoration Angel still. So what he can do is, if he so desired, he could use it to blink his Thunder, uh, blink his Thunder Mohawk Knight. And that would trigger again, tapping Jason's Restoration Angel. And, and Brian's own, not that that matters too much, yeah. right? And uh, getting a huge blocker out of the way. For uh, probably crucial blocker. Uh, unless Jason had another card, it would be lethal. Yeah, it would but, only deal with the... Right, so if 
Jason has a second Restoration Angel. It ends up basically he's got three blockers again, right? So it's, right, it's but still like that would that would be the same as the current board, right? Uh, which is not very good blocks for Jason. At yeah, all. he's still in bad shape. He just yes. lives through the turn, is I guess. Right, what I right. Understand. Like if he's got Restoration Angel, he can he can live through this turn. Um, I'm trying to get yeah, because like, Jason really needs his Restoration Angel to block the, the Thunder Maw. But he also needs... Uh, he can't can't win by chump blocking. So everybody in. Every mm. little damage count, bit Let's of damage see. counts. Addison's Pilgrim uh, coming over with that staff. Brian's yeah, hand, potentially a Celestia Charm. A uh, Rampager. Uh, Mizium Mortars. Uh, are the, and Dama Red are the potential tricks. Big ones being Rampager and Selesnia Charm. Dama Red, not much of a trick, really. There's a post combat can fight something and okay. finish it off. Okay, okay, okay. Not, not Same a, with Museum yeah. Mortars. Um, but wow, Jason doesn't have anything. Yeah, I think if he had the second, if he had a Restoration Angel, I think he would have. Yeah, absolutely. Double block it him. and try to block, yeah. Try and double block the Thunder Maw Hulkite and kill it. Um, so, Voice is going to block Four Clan Rampager. Restoration Angel is in front of the Thunder Maw Hulkite, and it looks like Volcan there's Rampager. a Four Clan Rampager. Abrupt decay on the Avazin's Pilgrim to it's try to save target. one life. Yeah. Yeah, um, Avazin's Abrupt decay, not where you want to be against. Uh, it's like, he's just like, well, uh, can I deal six tramples, eight trample? And yeah. that's the match. <laughs> and Brian uh, Edgar with Brian Edgar 